I spy Topaz. And I think that means I'm going to be able to get a grappling hook. Welcome back to Terraria. 1.4 with Brian in Master Mode. And off camera, I have just been digging a little bit deeper. And managed to get 12 more Topaz. That is definitely going to be enough for a grappling hook. Here is a quick look. Just realized that this has never been filled in. A quick look at what I've done since we last left off at the place where we built the house for the guide. And yeah, I know I have some extra topaz at home, so we'll be able to make a hook. And with the hook then, I think I'll probably be strong enough to try to cross past the corruption. Uh, if we can do it at the right time of day. Uh, midnight is not the best possible time. So maybe we'll wait until the morning. But there we go, topaz hook. Great. There's our grapple. We can do that now. That's terrific. I'm going to sort some more inventory and then decide what I want to do to kill for the next four minutes. Since it's raining, something that occurred to me, I picked up a few goldfish. Uh, we got an apple that fell out of a tree that has five minute duration on the well-fed buff. I know I have some clay blocks and I'm pretty sure you can make a little bowl that you can make like goldfish soup. Yeah, this thing. Bowl. So if I make a bowl, then I think I can craft goldfish stew. Maybe? I don't immediately see it. Let's ask the guide. Oh, the guide's downstairs, right. <laughs> Let's go downstairs and ask the guide. I'll be right back. Okay, the guide says, oh, three apples or any fruit can make a fruit salad, which is 25 minutes. Increases life generation. All right. Yeah, minor, minor improvements to all stats and increases life generation. So it might just be well fed, but three of any fruit. So the goldfish, okay, let's ask the guide about the goldfish then. Because that used to be goldfish soup, I thought. Oh, you need a mushroom too. And then you don't need the bowl to make the bowl of soup. Okay, so that's a change. And it's eight minute duration. Medium improvements to all stats. Okay, there we go. So that's like the next tier of well fed then. And then the fish statue and the fish bowl. Okay, fantastic. Um, I do have mushrooms, and so we can totally craft that. I didn't see what um, location we need to craft that out, so let me take a look at that really quick. Um, that needs to be crafted at a cooking pot. Okay, I can make a cooking pot back upstairs. We'll get that, and with that buff and our new grappling hook, then we'll try to cross the corruption. Okay, the time is now. Bowl of soup. Oh, wow, I'm running a lot faster. That is cool. All right, we have a grappling hook. I don't have a double jump, so it's still going to be a little bit difficult to get across bits of the corruption, I imagine. I do have a musket, so I'll be ready to use that. Okay. And yikes. One hit, and I already need a healing potion, so I need to be very careful to basically not take any hits. Uh, we'll take the death weave now. Oh, crap. Ah. It's too dark. Yeah, I'm gonna kill myself out here. It's too dark to see these guys coming right now in the rain and so early in the morning. It doesn't help that I always have a little bit of glare on the monitor. Um, I can't heal for another 30 seconds. Oh crap, okay. Yeah, this is the wrong time of day to be trying this. I only have four, um, Oh boy. Crap. Okay, that's okay. Um, words. I only have four, what do you call potions? Ouch, that does some damage too. I didn't really mean to be going down here. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Recall potions, is what I was trying to say. So I didn't want to waste it to go home, but I'm going to. Okay, we'll try that again in better weather or later in the day. In the meantime, do I still not have any more chests? I do not. I would really like to have more chests. And we did reach a place that has some open cavern, and so now that I have a grappling hook, let's go downstairs and see if we can find a chest. Maybe we'll find a double jump as well, and that'll make me feel better about everything. Okay, underground exploration. I own a grappling hook now. Oh, hello, sapphires. Um, I would like to own you. Let's make it happen. That should get the sapphires. I'm far enough away 
be away from the bomb. However, let's see. Um, let's just drop a torch down here really quick. Okay, it's pretty deep, but I can see that I can go safely here. Oh boy. Yeah. That was somewhat skill and somewhat luck. Oh crap. That was stupidity. <laughs> oh boy, am I gonna be lived through this? Okay, I see this here too. And I also see the piranha. There's another recall potion, which is terrific. There's a heart, which I desperately need. Okay. And here is the other very mean guy. I want I wonder if I should start putting these on the bar so that I can see where the wires are gonna be. Um, let's not bother with that right now, but it's something to consider. And then meanwhile, over here, I do see that there's some gemstones down there. I think they're just amethyst. So I'm not in a super rush to get them. And we end up letting a lot of water through if I go after this iron. I do kind of want the iron. Looks like there might be more down here. There might be more topaz down here too. So let's do this. One, two, three. Yeah, there's a bunch of topaz down here. They'll be worth money if nothing else. And... Oh! There was glowing mushroom biome music over here. I don't see the glowing mushrooms, but I hear the music. So we're headed this way now. <laughs> like it or not. Alright, are they not glowing? Oh, it's on the very right-hand side of the screen. It's funny that the music changed this far over. And it doesn't seem to glow as brightly as it used to. Compare that to that crazy bright green moss we saw back in the Easter egg seed in episode zero. Not sure what's happening there. Um, there's gonna be a guy sneaking up on me here in just a moment, so let's not let him sneak up. Okay, I see some glowing mushroom stuff over here. I need to remember. Okay. Let's try. Uh, this would actually be a place for the yo-yo. Okay, and now the musket. Great. And musket can get you too. Alright, and I think the smart thing to do is just to build across here. Because we can see that this area is pretty safe from Guys of Badness. <laughs> That's my new nickname, the bad guys apparently, the Guys of Badness. All right, we've got a bunch of monsters who are boxed out, and so we shouldn't encounter too many monsters as we get over into this area, because we kind of mob cap things over here on the left at the moment. That's working very much in my favor. And while there's a bunch of new music tracks, I'm glad to still hear the Skulling Mushroom music because it's one of the best tracks in the game. Or at least it was one of the best tracks back in 1.3. At some point I'll have to listen to all the tracks in 1.4. Okay, um, it looks different. I want to dig over into the middle of it a little bit more. Usually there are houses that have chests, and I don't immediately see those. Obviously we want to get glowing mushroom and growing mushroom seeds. But yeah, there's like this greenish glow that I don't know how to explain just yet. Alright, and there is some danger that enemies are going to start spawning behind us again. So let's do another one of these. That seems like a good safety play. I have a grappling hook if I need to quickly kind of climb upwards. And there's something happening down here. Is that... what is that? Is that like a hanging lantern? I'm not sure what I'm looking at and it intrigues me. Okay, we got some potions. Mushroom grass seeds, nice. Okay. So we're already in great shape, but I really gotta figure out what this lantern thingy is. Uh, unfortunately, there's a bunch of water over here, so here's what I'm gonna do. 
I'm going to do that. Almost all the water's going to end up over there. And then I'm going to dig down here, away from the water, and feel like super genius. It's the big brain play. So what is this thing? Oh, it's glowing mushrooms that hang down from the ceiling. Neat. Okay. Neat. Um, speaking of neat, there is a neat amount of iron ore in the ceiling here. I'll grab some of it like that. Uh, it looks like there's a whole lot more mushroom stuff happening over this way. So let's just continue the dig. All right, digging further over, it looks like I have encountered a whole lot of gold. I just think for that. Kablam! And yeah, I think that is worth another one. I might want to wear some gold armor at some point. And I just saw something up in the ceiling. Uh, what did I see up here? Oh, there's the house. And there's some bad guys in the house. Okay, I do want to go up there. Okay, that said, I haven't figured out what I'm going to do at this point. Uh, we're going to have to kill some bad guys. And I don't have a whole lot of great weapons with which to do it. I suppose I could fire the musket through a little hole in the wall. So let's plan to do that. What are those? Spore bat. It's a new type of bat that presumably will be more fearsome than a cave bat. Because in general, mushroom enemies tend to be more powerful than their non-mushroom counterparts, in my experience. So let's do this. Let's put a platform right here. Now I can stand here. Let's break out some blocks right here. Let's put some light to make sure we can see what we're doing. Uh, my well-fed is worn off, but I'm going to take a, take a chance that guys can't fit through here. Or if they can, they're going to get knocked back by musket balls before they get a chance to do so. Come somebody else I've never seen before. Who are you? Spore skeleton. Okay, so there's like a whole set of spore enemies over here. And more of them might be spawning as I'm killing these guys off. Oh dear, here comes a worm. There he is. Got plenty of bullets. I stocked up well before we left. Um, someone might have stepped on a pressure plate over there too, so I'm kind of worried about that. Uh, but let's deal with the worm before anything else. There he is. Um, I don't need to heal just yet, but we're getting close. Okay. Now let's finish off like three more guys in here, and then we'll try to break inside. Maybe more than three guys, because there's a lot of guys in here. So yeah, just the nature of the shape of this room has made it a much better monster spawning arena made things far more dangerous. Okay. I can't tell if there was a pressure plate in here, and I feel like there might have been. Maybe not. I'm still very nervous. Okay. Uh, what is that up there? Just copper ore. Okay, so apparently this is what mushroom biomes are like now. I presume we can still chop these down with an axe? Yes. Get a lot of glowing mushrooms. Is there anything special here? Nope, that was just like some mushroom rock or something. Okay, well, let's keep looking around and see if there's an underground house down here. Uh, but this biome seems huge. We are in a large world. It's possible that... Oh! Haley the Zoologist has arrived. Uh, that's a new type of NPC. I heard the name somewhere, but that's about the end of it. So I don't know what the zoologist does or is for. We could speculate based on the profession name. Uh, this looks like some good stuff. I did see that there's another slime who's gonna be coming my way in a little bit. Okay, you can bomb out those mushroom background walls. Um, I don't wanna be near the explosion. There is more cave over here, so I think I do prefer to continue cave exploring before we recall home. We did get mushroom and mushroom grass seeds. We didn't find, sadly, a chest, which is the thing I really wanted. 
So yeah, before I just return home, let me dig over into this section and just continue looking around. Hey, we found a coin fountain. Sadly, it seems like it's only got five gold in it. I don't have an extra piggy bank yet, so I don't have a place to safely store it. So we're going to try to stay alive, which means shooting the piranha before we hop down into this water, <laughs> for example. Now let's also throw a glow stick down here just to make sure it looks otherwise safe. I don't see any signs of traps. But yeah, I don't really see a whole lot down here. So I'm going to go ahead and spend the recall potion. And where did the zoologist end up? Uh, over here. Let's move the zoologist over here instead so that I can learn about this new person. We'll grab some fallen stars. Zoologist has just teleported in. Let's grab another fallen star before we go. All right, and we can use the grappling hook to move a little bit more swiftly along the ground, possibly. If I actually aim properly, who are you? And tell me about your happiness. She's anxious around a lot of people. She loves animals and likes the forest. She hates what that Tyrone does to animals. Okay, so we learned a bit about her. She sells Guide to Critter Companionship. Prevents you from hurting critters while in the inventory. Oh, neat. So if you don't want to accidentally kill bunnies or worms, you could just hold that in your inventory. That's interesting. Squirrel hook. Grapple onto trees like a real squirrel. Uh, I don't want to spend the money on that right now, but I'm curious about that. And we'll explore the rest of the inventory in a moment after we deal with the minor threat of a random zombie. Cat license. You used to let a cat arrive in town. So I think there's like cat and dog pets that you can get or something. Koi kite. Kites can be flown on windy days. Neat. Bunny ears, vanity item. Bunny tail, vanity item. Okay. Uh, I'm curious about the squirrel hook, but not curious enough to start spending my precious money right at the moment. So that is something that we'll come back to. And we're gonna have to find a new place to house the zoologist. Um, I could try over here near the demolitionist. Uh, that might be okay. And yeah, I'm kind of tempted to do that. Uh, we have glowing mushrooms though. And hmm, eventually, Let's presume the truffle is still going to not appear until hard mode. So if that's the case, I'm in no rush to get the truffle. Um, I've run out of like chest space, really. Let me do some inventory organization before I do anything else. As we talked about before, mushroom biomes can spawn some scary enemies. So I don't want to make it too big and spawn scary enemies too near home. We could do something like that. I'm gonna put a torch here and here. And for now, I think I'll just put two of my mushroom grass seeds and I'll hold on to one in case I wanna place it somewhere else. Oh boy, that was not the smartest thing I've ever done. <laughs> I did go ahead and craft up my lesser healing potions into greater healing potions, but I'll use my last lesser potion right now to make sure that we don't die to zombies. <laughs> Um, yeah, okay, don't jump down into a pile of zombies. That is a good strategy. I am here to offer you guys all the Terraria tips. <laughs> and that is one of them. Okay, I'm going to do some more inventory cleanup, and then we'll continue. Okay, the inventory has been sorted. I am going to go over to the other forest biome and see if I can move the zoologist over there. And possibly make that person happy? I couldn't tell if the zoologist is male or female. I suppose that the king statue and queen statue, which teleport a random male NPC or female NPC, uh, might be useful to make that determination. Uh, but it also looked like the zoologist possibly like had ears and a tail. <laughs> So maybe it's neither. Um, in any case, I'll meet you guys over there. And, oh, I guess hmm, it's daytime, so we're not going to be able to see the NPC immediately teleport over there. So it's going to be a little bit of time that's going to pass.
before I'll have a chance to see if the new NPC is happy over there. In any case, see you guys over there. Okay, so here we are at this housing. Let's move Haley the zoologist over here. Uh, eventually she'll end up here. Uh, Haley suggests to me that it's kind of a female name in any case. Um, and while we're here, I wouldn't mind... Oh gosh. Die traitor, you got yourself into trouble. Jungle signs are dangerous. Be careful, man. While we're here, I wouldn't mind trying to get... I can't get moon glow because it's daytime too. Um, are there any other things that I could want to get from the jungle? Let's at least explore a little bit, but this is going to be extremely dangerous. I guess if nothing else... Yeah, I might be able to explore out to the ocean. Just get past the jungle. Rescue the angler. I guess there's some possible exciting things to do over here. Oh, interesting. Whatever type of uh, plant this is, I can't just place blocks into it. Can I harvest it? It's bamboo! Okay, that sounds like something that's going to be a material. Um, I can get on board with that. I think that will block off the slimes. Uh, yeah, that's going to work terrifically, I think. Um, let's go ahead and have a little bit less water to deal with over here. Marco the Painter has arrived. Here's some more bamboo. If I break the bottom of it, does it all come down? It does. Okay. Um, jungle grass seeds are something I could potentially get from here, even though it's daytime. Oh man, so many things. <gasps> uh, what is that? Jungle turtle. I think that was a friendly critter and I just shot him in the face. On the one hand, it's kind of sad. On the other hand, these things happen. It's a video game. You see a new thing, your instinct is to shoot it in the face. Because video game logic. Still have over 700 bullets. So I'm happy to spend them. <laughs> I'm making sure some of these enemies disappear. Uh, the jungle slime might not be hostile. Uh, this Snatcher certainly is going to be hostile, though. Oh, he dropped something. Coffee. Coffee. Consumable. I see, it's a medium food buff. Um, let's just go ahead and use it. Not sure why the Snatcher had it. He apparently found the logo of Starbucks and managed to snatch a coffee from them. I don't know. I'm trying to make some kind of clever joke there, and it's really not going anywhere. I should have just aborted it in the middle, but instead I've drawn it out, and now I'm talking about the fact that I've drawn it out, which is making it even more awkward. Somebody stop me. Not you, Jungle Bat. Or you, Jungle Slime. Oh, this one's carrying possibly a gold coin? I really should have bought a piggy bank. Um, yes, that was a gold coin. There's a little froggy. Um, I'm just going to quickly put some light in here and see if there's a chest. But we're not going to go that deep into this place. But I really want to find... Oh boy, what was that sound? Did you guys hear that? There was a sound. I don't know what it was. It frightens me. These things are blowing around in the wind. That's cool. I didn't see an immediate chest. And... Oops. Oh gosh. Alright, one more hit and we'll have to heal. Okay, got him. Let's go after the jungle slime. Man, I'm good at aiming. <laughs> Can I hit him from here? No. Alright, let's just do this. And Jungle Bat is dead. Probably not worth the three silver just going after that. And I don't remember, like, can I get hay from these? Could I possibly get jungle grass seeds from I did, okay, I got jungle grass seeds. So that's another terrific thing to have. So I can make my own mini jungle biome back at home. This looks like a terrific place to build up and over the water, in my opinion. And yeah, thanks to our coffee, we're regenerating a bit faster. Oh gosh. Okay, so this is the wind event again. Bringing in slimes on balloons. That's what I heard. Okay, so that was the sound of the balloon popping that I heard earlier. 
Um, crap. Okay, be ready to heal. Oh, I got confused. I got Ferial Bite. So my uh, control scheme is reversed. Left is right, right is left. Okay, that just changed. Uh, interestingly, the bats flew away. Is it because I went underwater and they could no longer sense my location to track to me? I'm not sure. I think I see an opportunity here to do some box out, box in kind of stuff. So I want to try it. Yeah, there's one jungle bat who's trapped, so that's one fewer enemy that we have to deal with right now. Ugh. Ouch. Let's heal. We traveled a long way across the map, and it'd be a shame to die at this point. Since there could be other slimes coming in on the wind, I'm going to do that in an attempt to block them off. We're above the water, so the piranha aren't sensing me. The frog is just a friendly frog. And if there's not another corruption biome over here, hopefully we can just push past the jungle. Uh, let's do this. Let's box out the piranha like that. And then the snatcher is going to be a threat, so I'm going to harvest as much bamboo as I can since we're here. Um, a grenade could work if I could bait him out. Actually, let's do this. So bomb, 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 bomb. We'll create some open space. And then I can probably get the snatcher with a grenade. If I aim better, maybe. There we go. Aha! All right, got him with one grenade. I could just shoot him in the face with the uh, musket though too. Aha, boom. Done and done. Okay. You're managing to stay alive. And let's continue to manage. I have a grappling hook that I could use to get on the side over here. Can I box you in right here? Yes. Uh, that'll be sufficient. I think you're stuck. Uh, this one I'm not going to be able to box in. So let's do this. Let's instead make a platform over here. I see this guy sneaking up on this side. So many enemies to take care of. Okay, so I'm safe on that side. From here, I can shoot this guy. And this guy. And potentially that guy. I think I'm safe enough to come down here. Oh, I was so focused on the slime, I almost didn't see the bat. Ah, uh, let's do this. Okay. We're taking our time, we're staying alive. It's master mode. Things are very dangerous. Oh, I shot the balloon! Neat! You can shoot the balloons. <laughs> that might actually be more fun than actually fighting the enemy. Oh gosh, there's two piranha right there. Crap, yo! Okay, uh, we're gonna box ourselves in. Danger, Will Robinson, danger. Um... Yeah, while we heal up, we're just going to dig off to the side. Okay, while I was healing up, I managed to box in a couple more enemies over here. So we have a few less threats to deal with. And these slimes are moving over to the right, so I think I'm going to have an opportunity to sneak out here. Ouch, took some damage, but we're going to sneak out here. The piranha, I can just go over, and so leaving the piranha there alive is a good thing because it's enemies who are not attacking us. I see the chest and so now that's my new top priority. I'm happy to have the radar but I'm even happier to have the chest. I know you can craft them but I just don't like to. <laughs> ah, so now I have another chest when we get back home. And now let's go back to trying to move swiftly across the rest of the jungle. There's a ton of bamboo here but I've already collected a bit of it. And we can make our own jungle biome at home, presumably. Um, I'll grab this. Uh, let's just skip past the next jungle slime. So we'll kill this one. And then this one I'm just going to try to jump right past. Like so. Okay. 
Um, let's take a risk. I don't see any piranha right now. Okay, there's one, one piranha I can handle. Like so. The jungle slime is gonna go sailing over my head. There we go. Okay. And now we use the grappling hook and movement speed to our advantage. This jungle is pretty big. But perhaps we're almost getting out of it? I don't see a piranha. Oh, there was a piranha there, though. Let's heal. And, oh no, is there another corruption? There's another corruption. This is super scary. All right, and I see this guy. I need him to come up at the line of sight, please. Uh, right now, no one's attacking me from the right-hand side of the screen. Sorry, little worms, I can't deal with you right now. Got bigger fish to fry. Uh, I should use this to try to break some plants around me so that I'm less likely to um, get hit by little thorny spur things. Okay, let's shoot you. Uh, come within range, thank you. And it's starting to get a little bit dark and it's hard to see. All right, so far, oh god, yeah. I can't heal, no, I can heal. And I do have a buff, which I should probably start using. So let's do that. That'll give me some more regeneration capabilities. All right, and we're gonna try to push forward. Okay. Oh crap, I didn't see you slime. Okay, we got out of the corruption. We have a chance. Oh, baby, baby, baby. Um, there could be a chest here. Let's take a very quick look. Um, is there any chance that this is going down to an Enchanted Sword Shrine? That would also be worth knowing. So I'm going to quickly dig down here. I don't think it is. Yeah, I'm going to guess that that's a no. Alright, so the new goal is to try to get to the ocean. Uh, it's just turning nighttime, so we're going to start encountering our zombies and things. Fraught with peril. Um, hmm. Let's do this. I think that's a good choice. I do like fallen stars. Um, right, we're not in the jungle, so there shouldn't be anything too scary here. Are these, since I could cut down the bamboo, no, those are just plants that got destroyed. It's not like it's another crafting ingredient. Oh, hey, there's a tree. Okay, we're gonna have to check in here because I'm curious to see if it's different from the living trees, I think it is, that we saw in the uh, crazy seed. Um, my inventory is going to overflow here. Uh, so let's start making choices about what I don't need. I don't need a single bottle. Sunflower minecart. Okay, let's equip that. <laughs> um, just says equipable. It doesn't have a lot of extra text to go with it. Okay, I can pick up this chest. Uh, got it. I thought I'd thrown that away. I can pick up this chest. Um, I don't think this is valid housing. I'm not really interested in the loom, and my inventory space is at a premium right now anyway. And I'd really like to get to the ocean. So... Oh crap! Crap, heal. Okay. So we're gonna try to not die, uh, but that might be tough. <laughs> That's the long and the short of it. Yep, crap. Crap, I'm done. Darn, darn, darn. <laughs> I'm frustrated with myself there, but um, yeah, I didn't plan that out. I'm not sure what I should have done. Okay, well, the good news is, even though we lost a little bit of money, uh, we'll be home and be able to sort through some of our inventory. And the painter's here now. There's another owl. Are you happy? Okay, he wants a different biome and he doesn't like being around people, so we'll try to make him happier later. 
Let's go ahead. Oh no, he's standing in my way. Mario, I need you to move. Let's move you here. So that I can put some more chests up here. Uh, let's go ahead and put this chest in this chest. And I'm gonna spend a little bit more time sorting inventory once again, now that I have more chests to work with. I hadn't noticed that the ra radar that we picked up is angry, so I actually want to equip it. I also just noticed there are six accessory slots starting out. I think that's a master mode thing. Um, we hadn't had nearly enough accessories to try to fill them, uh, and so I really hadn't noticed uh, that we had those extra accessory slots until just now. So that's a nice bonus of being in master mode. I noticed that I've gotten below 500 hay blocks, which is my usual threshold for I want to have at least that many blocks handy. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and harvest a few more, uh, but I'm still in, in the inventory sorting mode, so I'll be back in a moment. Okay, since I have a jungle grass seed, I'm quite certain that I'm going to want some kind of underground jungle area. And so I think maybe over here I'm going to hollow out some area that I could start growing a little tiny underground jungle. Um, I have plenty of bombs with which to do it, so that's going to be the next thing that I do. Okay, so just the starts of your typical underground jungle area where you might be able to get some life root growing in hard mode. So I've got the jungle grass seed over there, and I guess, I guess I'll just go ahead and close that back up for now. So that is out of my inventory. Now I have more inventory to sort because I bombed out a bunch of blocks. And since the painter didn't seem happy upstairs, maybe he'd prefer things down here. So we'll set up a house there. That'll eventually be an underground jungle biome. Right now it's just an underground cavern biome. And I want to talk to the guide about the bamboo. I see, there's like all kinds of furniture you can make out of it. All right, you can make that bamboo platforms, bamboo walls. Large bamboo is a material that can be placed. How do I craft that? At a sawmill. So I'll futz with that, I suppose. Bamboo fences. Okay, that gives me a sense. And then I also just wonder if I can place the bamboo and possibly climb it or something. Um, I guess it's daytime and it's not a thunderstorm. And so the painter isn't just teleporting down there on his own. So we'll have to find out about his happiness a little bit later on. Um, so bamboo, can I just place the bamboo? I can place the bamboo. Oh, it kind of works like a wall, if you just place it. Okay, and then at the sawmill, I could make large bamboo. Uh, where was that? Here. I'm gonna make 10 of them, just to see what they look like. They can be placed and they're also material. So there's large bamboo. Okay, and then let's go talk to, uh, go talk to the guide about that as material. And I wonder if it'll like grow on its own inside water, like it was in the jungle, possibly. So the large bamboo can turn into large bamboo walls and it can turn back into bamboo. I see, okay, so that's not as exciting. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, one of the things I picked up was an herb bag. So let's right click to open. We got Shiverthorn and Deathweed seeds, nice. I would like to plant these guys for sure. And I believe I have some more clay blocks. Yes, so I can make some more pots. Eventually we'll get the dryad and we'll have planter boxes, which will be better. But let's go ahead and just make nine pots for right now. And I suppose I can just set them up top up here and go ahead and plant some of these seeds. Okay, they say time flies when you're having fun. <laughs> and I'm having fun and the time has flown. Uh, I think that's all that we have time for for today's episode, or I'm saying today's episode. I'm probably airing these perhaps a little more than daily right at the start, because it's still the first day <laughs> that Terry is out and I've already recorded four episodes. Uh, having lots of fun. We got, oh, I got so close to making it to the ocean last time. We got very close to the ocean. We got some new NPCs. I do have to check in on various NPCs' happiness after uh, they get moved into some new houses. Uh, we got some more seeds. We got 
a little bit more explored, including glowing mushrooms. Yeah, we're continuing to make progress. I'm happy with how this is going. I hope, as always, that you guys are having a great day, and I'll see you again very soon for more Terraria. For now, bye-bye.